It's a beautiful, bright, and sunny, chilly morning out in our Florida backyard. Xavier and I Ooh, buddy. just woke up and we're planning on getting some things done in the yard. We're putting in a chicken coop. We've got this nice little chain link fence that we're going to use to help keep the chickens in. But this has to get taken out. And in order to do that, we've got to cut back all these bushes. Since we moved in, they've been kind of overgrown. And I've been trimming them back. They've just been growing back. And now they're in the way. So uh, we're going to get those out of the way so we can get this fence out. And we'll follow along. Hands up, buddy. You got milk on your face. You got milk on your face. this up and back because it's kind of arching here and hitting me in the head as I walk by. Um, it's going through the fence so I'm going to cut away some of those pieces and this is going to be outside section of our little coop. Um, it's not going to be not going to be too big. I'm just going to have it about the width of that door just barely enough so that I can actually walk into it and kind of scrape it out, clean things out. Nothing crazy, nothing huge. We're only gonna have four of them. Uh, I just gotta make sure I block off the bottom of the shed here so I don't get under that. I don't know if these posts are cemented in place. That's right now my biggest concern. Maybe that big one there? I noticed that before. This is the biggest problem. I've got so far trying to repurpose this fence. You can tell this guy's been growing here for a while. So I'm gonna try to cut around it and not damage the fence. I mean, honestly, with as much fence as I have here, it wouldn't be too big of a deal if I just cut that section out. So actually, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. of the sticks and branches of these bushes that were coming through the fence removed. I did my best to get as much of them taken out before I take the fence down because the, uh, the little corners here, they're, they're loose. So it'd definitely be easier to remove the shrubbery before taking the fence down while the fence is taunt. So next we're going to work on getting all these little uh, latches taken off. We're gonna work on getting the metal that's holding the fence onto the posts. I'm gonna try to get as much of that off as we can. I've got my clients here, so we can reuse that when we build the chicken coop on the side of the house here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've got all the fence that I've harvested. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more content like this, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you next time. You got milk on your face. You got milk on your face.